Paul Rogers during an interview with Classic Rock discussed how he turned down Brian May and Roger Taylor's idea for Queen and hinted that Brian May might have posed challenges for Freddie Mercury. Recalling the beginning of his 5-year tenure with Queen, he said, "To start with, Brian and Roger wanted to do a lot more free and bad company songs because they were big fans. I said, "Look, the world has been waiting to hear you and your songs, so let's keep it Queen heavy." In addition to their musical differences, Rogers expressed his deep admiration for Freddie Mercury, suggesting that Freddie might have faced difficulties with his former bandmates. When I became a part of Queen, I had a lot of respect for Freddie, but when I left, I had even more because I now knew what he went through. In a new chat with Talk Shop Live's The Rock and Roll Channel, Rogers also talked about what it was like to be in Mercury's position as the lead singer, explaining By the time I toured with the guys and done all that, I realized what it was like to stand in Freddie's shoes, and it was not an easy gig. He says, "I mean, they have so many great songs, and it was a really, really enlightening experience, actually." After serving as the vocalist of Queen plus Paul Rogers between 2004 and 2009, the rocker parted ways with the band. He opened up about the split to Billboard in 2009, saying, "My arrangement was similar to my arrangement with Jimmy in the firm." that it was never meant to be a permanent arrangement